वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी एर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्व वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन दैट मीन द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिलेशन फंक्शन इन क्लास इलेवन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच दिस वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी दियर so first you have to know what is relation okay so here the definition if a b any non empty set remember that if a b any non empty set then any subset of a cross a is called a relation on a okay remember that words okay observe it a relation on a it's very important you have to mention this one the relation on what so if a b any non empty set suppose here a equal to 1 2 3 okay and then a cross a and then you know how to find out a cross a you have already learned in class 11 so a cross a means 1 1 1 2 1 3 then 2 1 2 2 2 3 and 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 so that means any subset of any subset of this one uh, one okay any subset from this set it will called the relation okay now there are a uh, particular relation on set okay some particular relation first one here empty relation second one universal relation and third one identity relation so now explain first one empty relation okay empty relation that noted like this way phi subset a cross b okay now phi means null set you know that suppose a relation okay let a relation a b such that a b belongs to a definitely and a minus b equal to 10 okay now here here the ordered pair 1 2 1 3 1 1 2 1 so here a minus b here a minus b that not equal to 10 that, that means you cannot find you cannot find a relation where a minus b equal to 10 because here highest 3 minus 3 that equal to 0 2 minus 2 0 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 but not equal to 10 so that means it's a empty relation now next one universal relation universal relation means a cross a subset of a cross a like here the relation will be ab such that ab belongs to an a plus b less than 7 okay that means if you add a plus b it will be definitely less than 7 suppose you choose this one 1 plus 3 it's become 4 less than 7 3 plus 3 less than 7 2 plus 1 less than 7 okay so that means it's called universal relation if the relation is all the members all the elements are belongs to a cross a it's called universal relation now the third one identity relation now identity relation means here a a comma a for all a belongs to a okay for all a belongs to a now note that in identity relation every element remember every element is related to itself every element to related to itself that means a equal to b definitely so here 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 here identity relation now the next thing here the next thing is types of relation on a set okay so there are three types of relation so first let r be a relation on a non empty set capital a okay capital r be a relation on a non empty set capital a then r is called reflexive relation first one reflexive relation when if a related to a okay pronounce like that a related to a that is a a belongs to r for all a belongs to a next one symmetric relation if and only if a related to b that imply b related to a that is ab belongs to r implies ba belongs to r okay for all ab belongs to a for all ab belongs to a now the third one here the third one that is transitive relation so in transitive relation if a related to a sorry b and b related to c 
that implies a related to c so ab belongs to r then bc belongs to r that imply ac also belongs to r for all abc belongs to a okay now to learn this concept properly let's consider our example suppose here a capital a capital a is a set of all triangles drawn in a plane capital a a set of all triangles drawn in a plane and here small a small b and small c are three triangles on that plane so for the first one reflexive relation now every triangle is similar to itself you know that every triangle will similar to itself so that means this is reflexive relation second one symmetric relation now symmetric relation is that means if a be a triangle and b be another triangle okay and e if a similar to b then definitely b similar to a i repeat if the triangle a is similar to b then definitely the triangle b similar to a that's called symmetric relation and transitive relation if a triangle a similar to b a triangle b similar to c then definitely the triangle a similar to c okay so that means a related to b b related to c and that imply a related to c that is transitive relation so i hope after that you will not face any kind of problem okay now here i am just want to give you some note first one every element of a is related to itself for reflexive relation always remember that now second one if a related to b and b related to a is symmetric that doesn't mean a related to b equal to b related to a now the last thing that is equivalence relation so what is equivalence relation if a relation be reflexive symmetric and transitive then it's called a equivalence relation okay that means if you have a relation at first you have to check that this one is reflexive symmetric and transitive okay then it called equivalence relation if any one relation is not satisfied above the three relation then it will be not a equivalence relation